Do you dislike hypnosis regressions? If you are trained in hypnosis or if you are a coach that has been trained in hypnosis and you were taught to bring a client uh, back to their uh, back to their past to a memory in their past at a certain age to explore the memories that are linked to their current problem. This is fairly typical and a lot of hypnosis methods, even NLP methods, um, use this type of technique. And you're probably thinking, oh my God, I really don't like this. Or if you're finding that you are um, getting your clients into aggressive, a regressive state and they are just highly emotional and you just don't like it, right? You just don't like that feeling. It's very uncomfortable for you um, because it definitely was for me. And for me personally, what I really disliked about regression was that some of my clients couldn't formulate a memory. They just couldn't understand what we were trying to get them to do. And it would stress me out. <laughs> and I just wouldn't know what to do. Like I had backups, but I just, you know, there was that lingering worry in the back of my mind when I was about to regress my client and go, oh my God, what if this client doesn't give me a memory? Like, what will I do? And so that's totally normal. First off, we have all felt that way at one way or the other, but I'm here to tell you this. We don't need to regress our clients. Yes, it makes sense that who we are today was definitely influenced by our past. But truth of the matter is, it's not just the one memory or the three or five memories that influence who we are um, right now, right? There's probably thousands and thousands and thousands of memories that influence who we are today. So although we're visiting maybe three to five memories that are emotionally charged, that that is really stopping our clients from going after what they want, it's not necessary to actually go into the depth of the detail within the, those particular memories. Because what can happen is that it can we traumatize our clients. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but if you've been into those regressive episodes, it feels like you are back in that memory. Even though we've been taught that we're not, we're living it, we're really, we're reviewing it and take ourselves out of the memory. We're not in it. Some of our clients do not have the best coping mechanisms to be able to look at things objectively. And so if we have one of those clients, we could potentially do more harm than good. So why am I telling you this? Because I wish I knew this before. I wish I knew that um, I didn't have to force my clients to go into a memory. What we can do instead is just investigate our client's problem. And through our questioning phase and through focusing our client's attention, on their unconscious expressions and information, if a memory spontaneously pops up, great. If not, great. Really, the best skill set that we can learn for our clients in order to ensure that they have lasting results and the best breakthroughs is to be able to work with what they currently have meet our clients where they're at. So not all clients are going to want to revisit memories. Not all clients are going to want to talk about their emotions right away, but there are other unconscious expressions that can still help our clients move forward. We literally have a huge list that can be um, mixed up and and repainted and and used based on whatever our clients tell us inside our ACH trainings. And so when we just know the skill set of having a conversation, if we enhance our ability to, um, if we are able to enhance our therapeutic skills and investigatory skills so that we can help our clients heal, then it is a much um, gentler experience for our clients, which then um, really just allows for a more pleasant uh, client satisfaction without all the re traumatization. Like I said, sometimes that can mean more harm than good. So if you are someone who is interested in wanting to learn more about how to enhance their, your therapeutic skill sets without the need to re-traumatize clients, then definitely message below 
or comment below or message me for details regarding the next ACH training.